I want to develop an app. I've been teaching myself Python and I have an idea of a project that uh, I can sink my teeth into in order to really learn it, right? So this is what the app would look like once developed. I would open the app, it would prompt me to speak. I would say, used Sony model SQ hyphen four five X five thirteen dollars. The first set of data it would parse from eBay is uh, how many have been sold versus how many have been listed in the past however much time, three months. Um, now, if there are 10 listings and they're active listings and only one has been sold in the past three months, um, this is not a good buy, right? But let's say over the last three months, uh, 20 of them have been listed and 13 of them have sold. Okay, this might be a good buy. It has a good sell-through rate. Next, what it would do, it would take that amount, $13, I said, and that is the amount that I would be paying for it at a, res or a like a Salvation Army or something. What it would do, it would look at the average sold price. It would calculate your eBay fees. It would calculate how much to ship it, and then it would spit back at you a return on investment. Now, ideally, this is meant to go really fast when you are at a garage sale or a Salvation Army or whatever, flea market, and you just, you're trying to determine whether or not things are a good buy. You, you don't wanna sit there and like think about the ROI. So what you can do is you can say, look, if the sell-through rate is under this amount, don't even tell me, just say, nope, pass on it. Okay, let's, if the sell-through rate is above this amount, good, let's move forward. And then it would, then you can set a minimum ROI. If the ROI is only 25%, nope, it's not a good buy. So based on those two user settings, you could just say those things, used Sony model $13, and then it would say buy, yes, the ROI is this, or pass, and that's quick, 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 you know? Now in order for this to work as proficiently as I envision it, um, it would probably have to take maybe like 20 minutes of your spoken word uh, training data, right? That way, so I'm not talking about just some stock voice recognition. I'm talking about one where you sit and they make you pronounce a bunch of words. And so it has a really, really good way of uh, interpreting your voice. And this is just to avoid having to re-say anything ever, or at least uh, reduce the probability of that. Uh, as much as possible, right? Because we we just want to go fast. So what problem does this app solve? Well, there are millions of eBay resellers. And when I was very big into it, um, luckily I'm like, I can do math in my head, like quick, right? So I when I would go prospect on sourcing items to resell, um, first I would look up the item, Sometimes I couldn't find it. Sometimes it was a different name. Um, that takes time. Then I have to go and I have to change the, fil the filter of my search so that I can only find sold listings. Okay, that takes like 10 seconds per item. And then I have to scroll and I have to kind of like look at all the sold ones and then I kind of just get an idea of, of the average sold price, right? And then like I said, luckily I'm good at math and a lot of people can't do math in their head. So I'm calculating my ROI and I'm guessing my shipping costs and I'm uh, you know, estimating my fees, but I can do it pretty accurately. Most people can't. I guess is even for someone who can, who has done it for a while and can do it quickly and can pretty accurately uh, calculate in their heads without writing it or using a calculator, um, if it's a buy or not, even if you're that person, this app will, is going to save you so much time and effort. So it does solve a problem. And then for the people that aren't that good at it, they or either they don't have much experience in the space or they, they can't do math in their head, this is like, uh, this is super awesome for them, right? 